Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today is the day. We're starting the handbag collection series, so stay tuned. Remind me of 12th grade, remind me of young shade, feel like a new shoe, remind me of old games, taste like an ice cold, taste like a mango, feel like some new socks, taste like an angel, she look like a badu. Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about little things, handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. Today we are going to show my entire handbag collection. So I will do a disclaimer. This is probably going to be in two parts depending on how long the first part of this video is. So part one is going to be all of my luxury handbags. Uh, part two is going to be all of my contemporary handbags. So I'm going to go through all of them pretty quickly. I feel like you probably already know them all, but since it is the beginning of the year, I am fasting right now, so I will not be adding any new bags to my collection for at least the next 60 or so days, so might as well do a collection. I'm going to try to do them by the brand, and I'm going to try not to give you too much information. Um, if you want a specific review on any of these bags, please let me know and I will do one that will air on Wednesdays because Wednesdays are the day that we do handbag reviews. So let's just jump into it and get into it and see all these delicious beauties. We will start with Louis Vuitton because they are here. And did I just say Vuitton? Vuitton. All right. The first bag is my um, Louis Vuitton Duomo bag. This is in, of course, the Damier Bean. You guys have seen a recent video about her, so you already know our love and our challenges. The next two bags are my pochette. So this is the twin pochette. It comes with this amazing strap that I love. Um, I'm pretty sure there is already a video about this lovey. And also, this is the Pochette Accessoire, which you guys probably already know, and I know that there is a video about this lovey. One of my favorite bags in my entire handbag collection is my Louis Vuitton Alma PM in the Totem Collection series. Love, love, love. Next is my baby girl. This is the Speedy in the size 30, and this is in the Damier Azor. We have our Speedy 25. This is the bandolier, so it does have the crossbody strap. Um, and this is in the original um, monogram print. And lastly for Louis Vuitton, this is the Louis Vuitton favorite, the new favorite in um, the leather. And there is a video that's going to be coming out specifically for her if it has not already. That's all for Louis Vuitton. Now we're going to go into Chanel. And you guys know that at one point in my life, oh, I was so Chanel obsessed. I still love Chanel, but that price point, that price point just has me, has me on a no for now. But let's get into it. This is my amazing Chanel 19. This is in the wool tweed. Um, you guys know the Chanel. I am 100% sure there is a video on this, but it comes with another long crossbody strap. Love this bag. My very first Chanel bag is the Chanel Maxi in the classic flap. There is absolutely a video on this, a couple videos on this, and definitely comparing her to the Chanel Jumbo. She is in lambskin, and she is definitely one of my favorite Chanel bags. And I'll probably say that about all of my Chanel bags. This, guys, was my holy grail bag. This is the uh, Chanel Jumbo. This is actually in caviar leather, and this is in their gray. I cannot even remember. I'm so far removed from purchasing from Chanel, so I don't remember. I'll put it down below or at least link the video of me unboxing it below, which tells you the season and, and all the colors and everything. Um, but this is definitely the holy grail. And also my most expensive uh, handbag that I own. This is my Chanel Mini in the uh, silver. I have a video on this as well. I'm pretty sure, 
I don't remember. I think maybe it was 21P. Do not trust me. There is a video on this, but I love this bag. This is probably one of my most versatile Chanel bags that literally you can wear all season. Super easy to wear. Love her. A little peek on the inside. Next is my other baby Chanel um, with the pearls. Again, I have an unboxing on her. You guys have seen her a thousand times. She is a great little nugget. I probably put her through the most work when I went to uh, Europe last year and she was one of the bags that was I was wearing as a daily bag. And she is lambskin and she looks great for all the things that I was putting her through in Europe. So yes my last chanel bag which is one that i feel like very lucky to have is the chanel sweet classic i felt like this was the most amazing priced bag for what you get and the quality um this was a seasonal bag and they came out with a few colors i know that i have a video um all about this bag i can do an updated one if you want but this is like one of my favorite 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 uh chanel bags in my collection and also I think one of my most worn. So now we're gonna go into Prada. This is it. This is the, um, I will put the name down below. I don't know why I'm having a brain fart on this bag, but this is, there you go, Prada re-edition in the crystal. I'm sure there's a better way to say it. Um, but this is the newest and only bag uh, that I have from Prada at the moment. Now we're going to go into YSL. We have the YSL Toy Lulu. This is in their leather and this is in a tan color. Um, I feel very lucky to have gotten these as early as I did because I think when these first came out they were like 900 bucks. I didn't get in that early. But I think that I got this one for about 1200, 11 or 1200 dollars and I know that they're almost 2000 dollars now. This is another Toy Lulu that I got in the denim, the purple denim. I think I got this last year. I think this was a 2022 purchase. Again, lucked out and got this one for about $1,200 as well. Um, but this is so cute. I can't wait to wear this a little bit more this summer and spring. <sighs> she needs no introduction. You guys know her so well. This is the YSL uh, Lulu Puffer and this is in the size uh, medium, which is their largest size. Um, Y'all know all the stories about her. She is absolutely just, just a fantastic bag. The end. This is my YSL Nikki in the size medium, which is their largest size. And this is in lambskin. You guys know I have an affinity for lambskin. This also comes in a crinkled leather, which I could potentially see myself with but I really do like the lambskin the leather on this bag is a little bit thinner I feel like I have done a review on this but I might need to do another review because I have a love relationship with this but I didn't wear it for the longest time even though this was like a manifested in my brain color way and like leather but I didn't like the price I had a whole attitude with the price for a really long time and so I did not wear this bag um but I do want to do another review on this because I have definitely been wearing her more and um even though it's lambskin mama bear been holding up this is my last YSL bag she needs no introduction you guys have seen her on the channel 999 times um this is the YSL I care tote uh she is so expensive right now she is like almost five thousand dollars um, I didn't pay nearly that much, but she was still pretty expensive, but kind of worth it. I don't know, 5000 is a lot though, but I don't know. It's, it's all up to you, almost worth it, but I do love this bag and she gets a ton of wear. Next, we will go into Fendi. This is my only Fendi bag. You guys already know about her. She is just a crossbody bag with the uh, Pequin uh, pattern on her. I do see myself maybe adding something else Fendi into the uh, into the mix at some point. Now it is time for Gucci. You just saw her in a recent video, and this is my Gucci uh, Mini Super Marmot or Gucci Super Marmot Mini. Um, I definitely like this bag. This used to be definitely an everyday bag, even though it's small, it's very malleable. Um, haven't worn it as consistently over the past year or so, but, um, I still think it's a great bag and it's still one of the bags that's priced 
decently. This is about $1,200 right now. I think when I purchased it several years ago, it was $900, um, $800, $900. Um, so yes. So I will do a review on this because I don't think I have a recent review on this bag if you're considering it. The Valentino uh, Roman Stud. This is my one and only Valentino bag. Um, it's a great bag. I thought I was going to sell this bag at one time in my life. Um, but this has been a great bag. I still would love to get this um, Roman stud in a larger size. I love the way that the leather feels. I like um, all of the adornments and embellishment on the bags and then the two chains. It comes with a very hefty a very hefty chain as well. You, There's definitely a video about this bag. I would love to get this in a larger size. I'm gonna need that price to come on down, okay? Or I'm gonna need to find it on sale. So that is what I've been kind of having the back back of my head. I would love to grab this on sale. And I know that um, Nordstrom Rack has it on sale a lot or either Saks Fifth Avenue, All Saks has it on sale a lot on their website. So. Maybe in 2023, I'll find myself with another one of these in a different color. Now guys, we are going into Bottega. This is my Bottega cassette bag. Um, you guys know I love this bag. I love the color of the bag. I like the gold adornments. It's super easy, simple to wear. I mean, it's the easiest bag to wear. Throw some stuff in there, slam it down. There you go. Um, this one is, I don't know how much I paid maybe 1500 for this but again that was overseas um i think it's way more expensive now but it's i mean bottega their prices are absurd at this moment to me but i will say that their quality and kind of what they're doing and just the funness of their bags um they're kind of great i don't know if i'm gonna splurge for one that's like i can't find on sale at the moment but I, I don't know. Stay tuned. My very, very first Bottega bag, which is the Patty Cassette bag. I have worn this a good amount of times. Love this bag. I was so excited when I got this bag because it was like fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars uh, on sale or seventeen hundred dollars. It's been a while. But um, love this. Fits less than you think it would. Uh, probably fits around the same amount as that green one that I just showed you. But I love this thing. It goes with everything. Latest Bottega bag. She has gotten definitely some uh, videos about her. Uh, really great. This is one that is vintage. My gosh, this leather is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think I paid like 400 bucks for this bag on Rebag after doing some shenaniganizations, but I think it's like 700 bucks. But if you guys are into Bottega and you are not trying to pay three, four, five, six, ten thousand dollars at this juncture for a Bottega bag, and you are into some of their um, vintage pieces, I would say that this is definitely like worth your time and your energy. Love this bag, and it is just. It's held up so amazing, which speaks to the quality in general of the Bottega brand. I almost forgot about her. My last Bottega bag. This is the Bottega Arco Tote. Um, again, another bag that I almost was thinking about giving away or selling. Got this from Nordstrom Rack for $700. And I think this bag is like three grand or something now. Um, this baby is a little bit heavy. Um, but she is just so well made. I just love this bag. If you were looking for just, just a beautiful looking tote, um, with beautiful leather that feels amazing. Like this just feels as high end as it is. And I'm so lucky to have gotten it for the price that I did. And I'm so glad that, um, greater brains prevailed and I kept her in the collection. Now, I think this is like the last the last brand, which is going to be MCM. The first bag is my 24 karat gold vintage, well, 24 karat gold, uh, gold plated vintage MCM bag. Um, I mean, it's adorable. It's the epitome of a cute micro bag. She has definitely seen some good wear from me and um, she's, she's holding up. 
she definitely is holding up so I feel like she'll be she'll be around for a very long time the MCM backpack it comes with two leather straps and also a crossbody strap I'll put the name down below for this bag there's definitely maybe perhaps a video on this I don't think that they make this style anymore um, but this has been a great addition I love this and this has gotten like some really great wear as well this is my second MCM piece that vintage one was my first um, and this is pretty much a wallet on chain heavy heavy chain in the best way um, fits a lot of good stuff I actually again at one point in my life was wearing this as a daily bag I wore this so much when I first got it and now I don't wear it as much but I need to put it back in rotation as at least a wallet you guys already know the drill you've seen her already this is my MCM cylinder bag great bag that I need to wear a lot more next is my MCM um, backpack uh, this is either the Stark backpack I think don't trust me I'll put the right information below it comes with two uh, straps and no crossbody strap but I can they're long enough where you can crossbody them this thing I, I have definitely videos on this in the past so just how great it is um, just great price and I love this style that I got and this is just one of those things where you just throw on you go it fits you could even fit some snacks in this bag like it fits what you need plus some snacks what more do you need guys I think this is my newest MCM bag I definitely wanted this bag it has a, a chain that goes with it the chain is definitely not as nice as on the wallet or as on the vintage it definitely doesn't feel heavy at all um, but the bag itself really cool love the colorway fits all of your essentials has a great little pocket um, I think I did an unboxing of this but I don't know if I've ever done a review so I need to get better at doing reviews of these bags which will all happen on Wednesdays moving forward all right guys this is my last MCM bag and I think my last um and I'm looking around the room to make sure that I'm not lying um I have one more designer bag um and this is the MCM Anya tote I don't think that they make this tote anymore great tote it does not come with any additional shenanigans um, but it does have a nice zip uh, zipper zipper tie which I really really like this is a great bag for every day or for work and it has this really cool little uh, slip pocket in the front um, great for travel to throw your passport in here um, definitely definitely love this little piece here and the last bag I'm gonna pop because of the price this has to definitely go into the designer bag space this is my Proenza Schuler bag um, I'm definitely gonna do a review on her very soon um, if I wasn't fasting I would also have her in the green because there was this really cool green that came with it but um, she is adorable and this is a definitely a brand that I'm gonna check out a little bit more as well okay that was very very fast I'm very proud of myself um, great quick luxury handbag video um, I'm gonna do uh, if you want any specific reviews what fits what have you I'm actually working on that for all the bags in my collection but if you want one expedited you let me know let me know if you have any questions about the bags the wear the tear all the things I am here to answer them um, but I hope that you enjoyed that first part of my luxury handbag collection do not forget to come back next week for pot two and that is all of the rest of the bags that are in my collection um if you are new to this channel do not forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and come check me out on saturdays and wednesdays and thank you guys for the ones who've been riding with me since the beginning and even my newbies appreciate you guys see you guys next week bye <laughs>